and then we will play okay. the tape when the pro when when it's appropriate, and it will absolutely be whatever it is there. It's not print, but it's about as close to black and white as it gets. It's on the tape. All right. Well, then I would uh, I, I would I would go along with that. I think then that we just need to. You got a motion on the floor. We're in discussion mode now, and we need to um, let her go back and get the minutes right based on on that, <coughs> and then bring the minutes to the next board meeting. But these minutes, the way that they're written, and, and it's, it's some of I mean that part of it. Now there's other things in the minutes that's written accurately according to what I've been able to see. But that part of it is just way off track. It's just not a reflection of what happened. Let's uh, move forward then um, with uh, your motion, Mr. Shields, if we just um, uh, defeat the motion. Let's dispense with the minutes. Okay, well, you're withdrawing your motion. Okay, withdraw your motion and make a motion that we dispense with the approval of the minutes until the next meeting. I'll make a motion that we dispense with the minutes until the next meeting. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor, let it be known by signing out. Aye. All opposed? All right, we will we'll, we'll, we'll do it at the next meeting. Thank you. And I appreciate that. Thank you. That was a, that was a wise move for uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I don't. I don't say that, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dotson, not at all. I give you credit for that. that was what, that's why I think we do. And I appreciate the board having the integrity to to uh, want to get it right. All right. Next item. Um, I just want to finish All right, anyone have any uh, public comments would sign up, please? Anybody else have anything to say now? Are you ready, Ms. Jackson? Okay. Mr. Davis, go ahead. Out of hand, rejected. 
So that uh, we are uh, we are moving along there. Um, the uh, one thing I did want to ask you uh, 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 if you would uh, complete the uh, letter that you said that you would write, uh, asking the people uh, of Scotland Act to support the energy fund and uh, <coughs> as uh, as uh, Mr. Smith said. Um, we need to put politics and other stuff aside when it comes to the energy board and think about the people that need our help. And in that vein, uh, we were asked to uh, perhaps, uh, if you would, and you said yes, write a letter. And we've yet to see that letter, and I hope it is forthcoming fairly quickly. And your idea about the raising funds to the reminders that you make may, uh, that in the future would also be. We are looking, looking forward to that letter, and I know, I, I believe personally that will help a tremendous amount. All right, um, that concludes our uh, uh, public comments. Anybody on the board has anything to say in regards to public comments? All right, nobody on the board has anything to say. Um, I will just say that I will uh, pin that letter. And uh, I am, as I see it, working on that uh, binder. Uh, some of those letters from the ministers are slow coming in. Um, but I believe that I'll get some, and then when I get them, um, I will bind them, and then maybe we can that would be a good thing. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, next item on the agenda is the resolution authorizing um, filing of community development block grant application for Highway 125 water project. All right, Ms. Uh, Jackson and Mr. Patton, uh, it's your show. All right, I think we just have a resolution here. Um, I believe you all have a, a new agenda package, uh, a resolution um, copy of it. Um, basically, what it says, to, um, despite of all this writing, it, it can give, uh, because we're going to, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to uh, submit the um, application in time for the March 24th uh, deadline um, and go forward with it. We need, we, we, we feel it, it's appropriate to, uh, for the board to give the mayor and, and the, uh, the town administrator who would assist in gathering in, uh, data that we may need or documents that we may need uh, the authority to go ahead and file the uh, the application. Also, it gives um, uh, once the award is uh, uh, made, uh, then a certain a couple of activity can occur um, quickly um, on that um, that award, and so it would give them uh, authority to keep things moving. But then. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we would come back for a second public hearing and, uh, uh, and come before the board to, uh, as well as the community, on the, uh, the details of the uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Patton. Do you have anything to add to that, Ms. Jackson? Yes, All right. You, um, board members, have the um, resolution before you. Do I need to read it, or uh, you all have already read it? If you have already read it and you're ready for a motion, I, I appreciate it. I make a motion that we adopt this resolution uh, concerning this grant. Can I have a second? Second. It's been made and properly second that we approve the resolution for the uh, Highway 125 on uh, water project. Um, all in favor, let it, any discussion? Thank you. All in favor, let it be known by the sign aye. Aye. All opposed? 
All right. Only the thing I would like to say, and I'm out of order right now, so let me move on to the next thing, but I will get to on the next item. Discussion and award for a bid for a Lee Metal Road, uh, East 16th Street water project. Um, Ms. Jackson, could you discuss that, please? We opened bids on January the 11th for the, um, this is the second component of the sewer money that we received. Um, we will replace the water line going down Lee Metal Road and loop it at the end. We'll pick up the customers. Um, there were seven bids that were actually received um, here in Rivenbark. It was actually the low bid at $175,800.